Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batul and welcome to the course of O-Level Computer Science. So, we were, uh, uh, we were studying the topic of hexadecimals and in this video, I'm going to tell you the conversion, how you can convert a positive hexadecimal integer into a danary or a decimal one, right? So let's, uh, I am going to take an example of book and then the other example will be from past papers, right? So let's move into it. Let me take my first example that is from your book, Computer Science 2210, right? So here I have a hexadecimal number that is 45A, right? I hope you, do, you guys know about a hexadecimal number and if you don't know, then please see my other videos, introduction videos where you can find the definition of hexadecimal number system, right? So for now, I just want to tell you that any number that is being represented in these 16 digits, right? From zero to nine and from A to F. Then these are known as hexadecimal numbers. And keeping in mind that these A to F can also be represented as A, B, C, D, E, F. They can be represented as 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 these and 9 these. Sorry, 10 these. 10 plus 6. That is 15. Sorry. 16. Yes. 6 plus 10. That is 16 distinct values that are used in these hexadecimal numbers in order to represent any of the integer right so let's suppose i have a number that is four five a it's a hexadecimal number right so i need to convert this number into a danary or a decimal number right what are the steps we need to do let me tell you that okay so my first step would be let's write these numbers uh with some kind of a space right 4 5 a what i need to do i need to change this a in terms of its numeric value right because i am converting it i am doing operation on it so i need to have a numeric value for this alphabet okay so what is it 4 5 and for this a i have 10 that is 1 0 10 okay so now step number one would be I am going to assign the powers of 16 to these digits in an ascending order, starting from the very right. Okay, this is my first digit, A, that is equal to 10. I am going to assign the power of 16, 16 raised to the power 0, to the very right digit. Then moving towards my uh, left, and I am going to increase the powers of 16, 16 raised to the power 1 and then 16 raised to the power 2. This is going to be assigned to this 10, 16 raised to the power 1 is assigned to this 5, 16 raised to the power 2 is assigned to this 4, right? Now, what I need to do? I need to multiply these two digits. This 10 is going to be multiplied with this 16 raised to the power 0, then 5 with this 16 raised to the power 1, and 4 with this 16 raised to the power 2. Okay, then what would be my step number 2 if I write it as? Okay, now let me just make it easier for you. 10 multiply by, what is the 16 raised to the power 0? It is basically nothing but 1, right? Now what is this number? This is 5 multiplied by. 16 raised to the power 1, that is 16. Okay, now what is this? This is basically nothing. 4 multiplied by 16 raised to the power 2, that is 256. Right? So this is how we got these three terms. Now, what would be my next step? I am going to, going to find the values of these multiplications. Right? So what are these? 10 into 1 is 10. 5 into 16 would be 80 and 4 into 256 would be 1024. 
calculate by yourself so that you can be sure about it okay now after getting the answers of these multiplication what is my last step it is nothing but i am going to add these values right so after adding these values what what will i am going to get i'm going to get a binary number that is this is equals to 1114 right so this is the required binary or a decimal number 1114 that is equivalent to 45a in a hexadecimal number system right so this is how we have calculated or we have converted a hexadecimal integer into a binary one it it's a simple example and let's take another examples for it so that this topic can be more clear to you so i am moving towards past paper example right so let me share it with you Okay, so here, uh, here I have a past paper question that is of May June two thousand eighteen. Okay, now let me see the question first. Okay, Dheeraj identifies three hexadecimal numbers. Write the binary value for each of the hexadecimal numbers. Okay, these are the three hexadecimal numbers that are being identified by a person named Dheeraj. Right. So what we need to do, we need to find out the binary. value or a decimal number of these right so we need to convert these hexadecimal numbers into binary or a decimal value right so it's a three marks question you need to give the right conversion for each of these to get these three marks right one mark for each okay now starting from this 2a what i need to do this is my 2 this is my a okay my first step would be I am going to write this a in terms of numeric value. That is ten. Okay, this is two. This is ten. Now, what is next? I am going to assign the power of sixteen in an ascending order. So this is ten into sixteen raised to the power zero, and then two into sixteen raised to the power one. What's next? Just find out the values. Ten into sixteen raised to the power zero. That is one. Ten into one is ten, right? Plus sixteen raised to the power one. That is sixteen. Sixteen into two. That is thirty-two, right? So this thirty-two is going to be added with this ten in the final step, and it will be having answer of forty-two. So this forty-two is the decimal or a binary equivalent of this two a, right? So for this, I have find out that forty-two is the decimal equivalent for this two a, right? Now moving towards the second, that is one zero one. Okay, let let me write this as one zero one. Now assigning it to the powers. Of sixteen, that is one into sixteen raised to the power zero, then zero into sixteen raised to the power one, and one into sixteen raised to the power two. And if I had another hexadecimal digit, then I am going to assign another higher power to that. Okay, so um, the next step would be one into sixteen raised to the power zero is one, right? Zero into something would be zero, and one into sixteen raised to the power two is two fifty six, right? So one into one is one. So I'm just removing it. Okay, now after my uh, multiplication, I need to add all the terms, and that is two fifty six plus zero plus one. That is equal to two fifty seven. Right, so this is how I have converted this one zero one hexadecimal number into a binary one, and it is equivalent to two fifty seven. Right, so moving towards the last one. Okay, so here let me write this number with some space two one and e. What would be my first step? Let me convert this e in terms of numeric value. Right, to do the conversion. Two would be as it is. One would be as it is. E would be equals to fourteen, right? So what would be next? Just assign the powers of sixteen, raised to the power zero, then one, then two, right? Now fourteen into sixteen raised to the power zero. That is 
14. Why? Because it is 1. And 1 multiplied by anything gives you that particular number. Okay, now 16 raised to the power 1 into 1, that is uh, 16, of course. And what would be this? 16 to the power 2 is 256. And 256, 256 when going to be multiplied by with, uh, multiplied with this 2, it will be 512, right? You can calculate it by yourself so that you can be more sure. Okay, now let me add all these terms. And after adding these, I will get 542. Okay, so this is how I have converted this 21e hexadecimal number into a danary one. It is equivalent to 542, right? Okay, so here I have solved this question and I have got three marks. So this is how we can do these conversions and can get marks easily, right? So this is, uh, I think, over for now. I have uh, just, I have uh, taught you this topic in a very clear manner. So if you have any questions, you can write the comments below, right? So thank you so much for watching it. And in the next video, I am going to uh, do the reverse of that. I am going to take the decimal number and I will tell you how this decimal number can be converted into a hexadecimal one, right? So I will also be sharing the past paper example with you. So please kindly watch that video as well. And if you like my this video, then please like, subscribe and share the channel with other students as well so that we can all teach and study together okay so thank you so much for watching see you in the next video take care